my channel. In today's video, you're actually not going to see my face. I'm actually going over my bullet journal. My last bullet journal is completely full. I'm, you know, finishing up my last two months and going into 2018. I figured why not show you guys my setup for my new bullet journal. If you don't know what it is, I'll leave a link down below of the original video explaining what the bullet journal is and how it's used and who invented it. It's honestly brilliant and the great thing about this is that you can start bullet journaling today, right now, because all you need, honestly, is just a notebook and a pen. Now, if you do want to take it a step further and you want to get a little more fancy, you can actually get um, notebooks specifically uh, popular in the bullet journal community as well as the pens and markers. Uh, to really spice up your pages. The notebook that I'm using is specifically for the bullet journal. It's the Loistrom 1975. Just kidding, that's the band. It's a Loistrom 1917. It's hardbound. Um, it's great quality. There's a pocket in the back that I like to put like stickers and um, like scrapbook paper and things like that. The pages are also numbered and they're um, dotted. Now as far as pens, I recently purchased these Tombow pens. One of them is a lot more thicker where you can do a lot more calligraphy art and another one is a lot more thinner. Now as far as color, I like to use these markers right here. So these are from Target. These are the Target brand markers. And uh, this is a Copic um, liner and brush pen. And the thing about these is that I like to add accent colors in my pages and my title, keep it very minimal. So these markers are more on the pastel area, but you can pick whatever colors you like and whatever you choose um, for your bullet journal. All right, so moving along to the actual bullet journal. Starting off in the beginning, um, the bullet journal notebook actually comes with uh, tasks already in there and the um, icons you'd like to use. I personally don't use them, so what I did is I put cardstock on here and then I put a sticker um, with my actual key. And the first page is just a contact page, so I just have XXOKMO and then my email, but then I also have my business cards that they really need to contact me, it's right over here. The thing about the bullet journal, um, this one in particular, they actually give you tips on how to use it, so if you're really a true beginner and you're diving right into this notebook, this is great because it really gives you like the, the tips that you need. And then moving on next is the index. What I really love about this notebook in particular is that it already comes with a pre-index and you get one, two, three, four pages of indexes where you can where you can really write down um, what you have on each page. That way you have a great reference. After the index, you have your future log. Um, my old bullet journal had one whole page with all the months in it and then I had um, more future logs that broke it down like this. Honestly, I thought that p the first page was a complete waste, so I completely uh, did not add that to my new bullet journal. It's, it's a, a trial and error and you can really figure out what you like and because it's just an empty notebook, you can create it into, into a system that works for you. Now this page, um, it's actually from my girlfriends and it's something that's really helpful as far as confidence. I know for me, um, my confidence is something that I'm constantly building and sometimes you just have those rough days. And this was an exercise that we did from a book. What's written inside the, the silhouette is what everybody sees about you. So you might not see certain things about you and you might think so negative, but in reality, these are all the positive things that you know people notice about you and like about you. And sometimes when I have those days, I like to look back at it, but yeah. So that's just the page that I have in here for like a quick reminder. Next page, I have goals. So I have my 2017 goals, and then I have one for 2018 that I'm going to soon fill out here. But having goals as a page is very important. Um, just so you know exactly you know what you're trying to accomplish that year. Then I have stats, um, just something fun to keep. I know YouTube is something I like to do as a hobby, but you know it's really cool to see how much you grow and track. And you guys, we hit 10,000. What? The fact that there's 10,000 of you guys that actually like to watch my videos is just insane, and I love you guys so much. Next, I have other lists. Um, my old bullet journal, I had a full page per list and I just thought that was a waste of space so I condensed it into one and I have things to watch, um, reading material, wish list, and ATL adventures. I like to jot down things that I liked um, in Atlanta. Just finished watching Stranger Things. Oh my god, can we just take a second to just 
Oh my god. <laughs> All right, so after my pages, I have um, this page right here that's labeled new image um, and I have a quote underneath it that says it's never too late to reinvent yourself and in this page I want to jot down notes on how I want to better image of just XOXO Camo YouTube and my blog and how I can improve like the quality and all of that <laughs> Excuse me. So that's on that page. And then on this page, I have more of like um, a health goal tracker. As far as goals, I'll put down like my health goals and I'll have more um, information or a workout routine that I have over here. But this is going to be mostly for um, health related things. So moving on, um, we're going to the monthly spreads and this notebook starts off with the month of November and I have November uh, 17 as well as a little uh, brown paper that I put the calendar on. Um, this was actually inspired by Amanda with the leaves and then I forgot her name but she did something very similar to this so I, I got inspiration from her about that. You can find inspiration on Pinterest, on YouTube, on Instagram and you can really find what you like and you know uh, make it into your own. Moving on to the next page I have November um, whole monthly view and then I have goals for the month and big things that I do want to accomplish here. I'm a very visual person so I wanted to uh, put a few photos of you know what really reminded me of November so I have like the leaves changing sunflowers pumpkin on this side because it's November I'm starting a little gratitude thing just to remind myself everything that I'm I'm thankful for family is huge so I have some of my cousins uh, picture over here um, but yeah this is just a page for everything that I'm thankful for and then moving forward I have a page for my memories um, for the month of November so so far I went to a Magic Man live show which oh my god mm. I finished watching Stranger Things so I have like a picture of like the cast on here and then I have a page for my brain dump in uh, for November Flipping over is my first week or my first three days of November. I have Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I just have, you know, the tasks that I need to get done, uh, what I want to do. Um, and then over here, I just have like more notes of like, you know, go grocery shopping, things like that. And on this side, I just have more notes, things that I want to film and plan and do. Um, and I have that over here and y'all, the red cups are back. Well, kind of sort of red cups, but yay! And then flipping over to my last page, um, I have this page right here, which is my November favorites. I want to keep track of some of the things that I do love. That way I can actually let you guys know that, you know, some of the things that I've been loving that month. And then over here, I have a habit tracker. So for me, I have workout, eat healthy, no money spent, YouTube, film, blog, and Instagram. As you can tell, I have not been doing too well. Down below, I have a mood tracker. So if I'm feeling happy that day versus meh, and then kind of sad. Days where I accomplished more things, the more happier I was. It's just a cool way to keep track of habits, um, really make yourself accountable for what you've been doing, what you've not been doing, and really reflect on how you know, how much you accomplish really affects your mood. That, that is the end of my uh, bullet journal setup. I really hope you guys like this video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you want more planner related videos and be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Um, yeah, love you guys, bye.